Welcome back everyone, CX Carbo Exchange, episode 7, or 8, 7 or 8, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I apologise now if you hear any, like, kids' toys going off in the background. Archie is outside, he keeps banging his toys on the door. Let me in! <laughs> so, anyway, yes, Carbo in uh, two weeks worth here, both weeks really sunny, uh, not as big as I was expecting. Uh, yeah, they weren't actually even full, so I don't know. Maybe it's too hot for some people. It's too hot for me, I know that. But uh, yeah, so I'll do the first week, and then I'll do the second week. So, uh, not a massive amount of stuff the first week. Some nice stuff the second week, basically, <laughs> this morning, basically. So, a couple of bits I'm keeping. So, first store I went to, Chap had tons of boxes full of like DVDs and stuff. Um, and I spotted these first. So we've got Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year edition. Not much in that, I thought it would be a bit more. I think it's about £4. It shall tell you in the corner. Um, and then I got a PSP game. Oh, that's 50p by the way. No, that was a pound, sorry. That was a pound. And then I got a PSP game. Uh, Taito Legends Power Up. Um, I actually never even seen this game before. Uh, it's all there. Gonna keep this one. Uh, 20 pence he wanted for that, so it's not bad for 20p. And I think that's all I picked up from him, that first thing. Um, I did go back later and get a few more bits just to fill out the uh, fill out the CX credit. So the next stall I got some stuff off was uh, they had like a load of box sets, uh, nothing great. And then there was like a bag at the front of the stall. And at first I thought it was someone's bag full of their own stuff. I thought they'd just put it down for a minute. And I was sort of standing there and I thought, okay, that's definitely their stuff. So I pulled this out. She said, make me an offer. I said, two pounds. And it is Only Fools and Horses, the complete series, one to seven. Um, still sealed. Well, obviously CX will open that. I think that's about eight, nine quid, something like that. So yeah, not bad for two quid. And then on the stall next to that, um, I'm actually really happy to find this because uh, surprisingly I don't have this game in my collection. Um, you'll be surprised as well when you see what it is. Uh, yeah, saw it on the stall for oh, must be expensive. Asked that much, she said a quid. Kingdom Hearts two. And it's the shiny, like, holographic cover. I believe the reprinted version has just a white cover. So, yeah, happy to find that. It's not an expensive game. It's about £10. But, say, nice condition. So, very happy to find that at last. I've got that on PS3 in the HD collection. Uh, but, yeah, it's just nice to have on PS2. That's that. Um, two 360 games here. Uh, paid up on these because I actually want to play these and then I'll trade them in. So I'll make a little bit in the end, but yeah, I'm going to keep these for now. Uh, some 360 games. She wanted three killed each. So I picked out these two. There was a few of other games like this, um, but I've already completed them once. I have not completed these two, so. For five pounds, knocked her down two for a five. I got these four: Lego Hobbit and Lego Marvel Superheroes. Um, yeah, so I think there's about ten. I think they're about a tenner trading for both of them. I think that's six and that's four, something like that. I'm um, not too fussed though because I bought them to play, so I'll trade them in eventually. And then uh, I saw this one. Uh, this week as well, but uh, she still had the same stuff because obviously she was charging too much for it. Uh, she had a PS2, a uh, ton of games, and some strategy guides. I think she wanted a pound, two pound a game, I can't remember what it was, and some strategy books, which were she wanted two quid. I think I got these for 150 each. Um, so for 150 each, I got me a Resident Evil Nemesis one, not very big. I think I've got this one. Um, was actually going to swap mine out because mine's a bit battered but there's a huge rip on the back so I won't just take to a convention or something 
And then Resident Evil Survivor, one you don't see very often. Not sure why you need a guide for it, because it's pretty much a linear experience, that one. And it's shit. Like, really shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that. So I bought all that, and then I didn't really buy anything after that. And then I was going to leave, and I thought, I'll go back to that bloke who has the DVDs and stuff. Because he had um, some South Park, South Park box sets, and I know... Uh, on CX, most of them are about two quid trading. I thought I'd just see what he wants for them. Um, yeah, so he had all these South Park box sets. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, twelve, and sixteen. I think I think there's nine now in total. Um, like I said, most of them are two quid. There's one which is like one pound sixty, and then there's one which is about, um, I think, two pound eighty, something like that. Um, and he wanted quid each, so it would have been nine quid. I was just like, not much in that for, to warrant me taking the CX. So I said, what do you do for all of them? And he said five quid. So I was just like, yeah, I'll take that. So I believe it should get me about eighteen pound roughly for them. Off a of five, off, that's not bad. Um, so yeah, so I grabbed all of them, and I was just walking off, and I saw this Blu-ray sticking out the top of the box, uh, so obviously pulled it out, I was just like, oh, you don't see that very often on Blu-ray, um, it's Rick and Morty, season one on Blu-ray, sealed, um, I don't believe this is actually out in this country, I could be wrong, um, I think this is an Australian version, maybe, I think maybe that's the Australian logo, I'm sure it is, um, it's not that expensive. I believe Amazon's actually sell it uh, for about 15 quid, something like that. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy it. I think it's slightly overrated. I think people go on about how oh, it's so, so witty and smart, which, yeah, has its moments. I think people like to blow out proportion. Uh, season one's really good, though. So, yeah, definitely keeping that. So that was the first week of car booting. Um, like I said, this week, a bit better, a bit more trade. In fact, I think I'm going to trade most of it in. I think there's like one thing I might keep. Uh, yeah. All right, what should I start with? So the first car boot I go to, a little one, it wasn't really, I got there at, because I every week I go earlier and they're still in. I was just like, I think I got there at half five and they'd already let them in. I was just like, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, there's no real game stuff around. I think I waited around a bit, and then there was a few last few cars came in. Um, I picked up this DVD box set. I checked it before I bought it. It's Troll Hunter. Uh, this is just a quid. I believe CX gave me four quid on that. It's uh, I think it's by Gilmo del Toro. Yeah, it says it is here. So, I might watch that. I like Gilmore Dead Taurus shit. Might be on uh, Netflix. I might just watch on that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's four quid trading on that. Half a quid, not bad. And then I picked up uh, Woman at Little Wii Games. Uh, so, I grabbed Mario Kart, as you do, uh, and grabbed this one. No disc in Mario Kart, so I was just like, okay. Uh, she wanted two quid each. Uh, this one, I think, is about a five pound trading. Um, it's Wii Party, so that cost me two quid. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's a five off. So not bad trading on that one. And I was just about to leave, and I spotted this in a, in a box. Uh, this is uh, the store next to that one, actually. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> it's South Park um, UMD, the film, but it's sealed, so... Can't beat me a bit of sealed stuff, even if it is a shitty UMD. <laughs> uh, I actually really like that film. It's a good film. And that was the first car boot. And then we went on to the slightly bigger one. So it got some nice stuff. Um, missed out on a few things, as you do. Can't be, can't be everywhere at once. So the first stall I went to, I spotted this in the top of the box. It's a 3DS charger. Uh, 10p she wanted for that. And then I spotted also in the box a DS Lite one. So 20p for them. 
I don't know if she had this on my table. Now, I did check this at the car boot um, after I bought it. And I thought it was like nine quid in it. But it's not It's not the same one listed. But it's Ben 10, the complete series. Now, like I said, check this. Uh, I think I checked the wrong one. But it's like I say, it's all there. She wanted two quid for it. So I thought, that's got to be two quid in that. So... Discs are really scratched. Obviously, it's been uh, obviously it's kids DVDs, so they tend to get a bit more scratched than normal. Um, so yeah, not sure on the price on that. It will say down here. So the next stall I went to, um, I'm not sure how the person missed the uh, how these were still there, but uh, for a pound each, I got me Maracar Wii. Uh, these are a little bit scratched again. I was a woman and I about getting them, and I thought, eh, I'll just keep taking them to CX until someone takes them. Uh, and Super Mario Galaxy. This one's actually not worth that much in CX. Might just take it though, because I'm running low on space to store stuff. That's actually not too bad. Looking at here, they'll probably take that. Uh, yeah, I don't have like a garage or anything to store stuff in. So, they'll probably go to CX. Pound each as well, so. A uh, bit more Wii stuff here. Uh, this Again, this woman had quite a lot of Wii stuff. A lot of them missing the discs, again. I think she had Just Dance 4, which I know is about 4 quid trading. It is 4 quid trading, because I checked earlier. Uh, but she had these other two. Now, these are really scratched. <laughs> Make no mistake about that one. Uh, so, we've got... oh. That's not too bad. Or is it that one? Yeah, getting confused now. I think it was this one, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. There we go. So, Wii Sports. Uh, it's about four quid, that one, I think. I think it's four quid. Again, really scratched. Really scratched. And, and Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, again, this one's even worse. But when you're not in the sunlight... It, they don't show up as bad, so I'm hoping in CX they'll come across a little uh, uh, better than they do in like pure sunlight. Plus, they don't put in the buffer, so so I'm not sure on that. I know the price on that goes up and down quite a lot. But we'll see. And the last the last wee thing of the day uh, again. Oh, this is an old woman. I actually got another thing. Got this as well. Uh, box of games again Wii Sports this one's actually perfectly good condition so that will go in and one for the collection Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix for PSP I had this I went to I remember going to Virgin Meg stores buying a PSP on launch uh, and I bought this game with it and I played it to death um, and it's actually a really good port I'm not even sure why that, I'm not sure why I sold it I was probably just, I was probably filling out my PSP collection because I went through a phase of like, thinking I'll just sell it. So, uh, yeah, got it back. Pound, good condition. That'll go in the collection. Okay, nearly there. So, the last few bit, this is probably the best find of the day actually. Uh, spoke to Tutor UK, he was there. I think he bought some 360 stuff. Um, I think he didn't dare risk buying any of these because I don't think he knows too much about the current gen stuff but I picked out these three a bit annoyed because there was a ch chap like leaned over me and started grabbing all the games I was like what the fuck are you doing wait your turn but I think he got some shit in... I'm not sure what he picked up um, but yeah anyway these are PS4 games and he wanted 5 quid each so Sniper Elite 4 that's 16 quid trading, so that's pretty good. Call of Duty World War Two. If it was on Xbox One, I'd probably keep it, give it a go. Um, and Minecraft. So we wanted five quid, so that'd been 15 quid. Um, I got them down to 12 on them because the chap who was leaning over and grabbing everything uh, knocked him down, and then he said, "Oh, you can have the, them ones for four quid as well." So I think he picked up Wolfenstein Two, which is I think about eight quid trading and 
Elder Scrolls Morrowind or Somerset. One of them is like the expansion disc. CX don't take it. So <laughs> if he's turned them into CX, he's going to be sadly disappointed. I'm not sure what else he picked up. But yeah, great find for 12 quid. Um, that's 12 quid on its own. So that's my money back. That's 12 quid. And like I said, that's 16 quid. So can't complain there. So that was that. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, I'll show you this. Uh, I'll probably take this to, to a convention or something. I was just speaking to 2UK and I just spotted this on a table. It's a Vault Boy bobblehead. And it's, this is the Charisma one, which I believe they gave out as a pre order bonus at game. Uh, saw there. Not bad condition. Like I said, I think they've even used it. It's just in the box. Box has got a little crushed though, so uh, just a quid for that. Um, and then there's this. Uh, that actually went back over some of the old rows, which is always a good thing to do. Um, and I spotted this. It's a guitar hero, uh, rock band guitar, sorry. This is a, actually one of the limited edition Beatle, Beatles ones. Um, I think back in the day, these were like 70, 80 quid each. Um, he only wanted a quid for it. I believe... Uh, I think CX used to list these all separately. I think there was three different ones. Three limited edition ones, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but I think they've just confined them all to one listing. It just says rock band various uh, Beatles guitars or something like that. Uh, eight quid, so only a quid. The only problem is then they're a bit funny about testing them because they've got to obviously get a 360 out and try and test them. Uh, or sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So it depends on what mood they're in, I suppose. And the last thing I got, um, not gaming related, but I thought I'd just show it quickly. Um, I bought some Lego. Probably overpaid on it a little bit. Maybe. Um, there's quite a lot of unique bits in here. But it came in this Lego tub. Like that, huge Lego tub. Um, and I was thinking, if I get 10 for the Lego box, then the Lego then cost me 15 quid. So yeah, it's in the big Lego box. Um, and then there's, like, they've actually bagged it up into colours and stuff. But there's tons of stuff in there. Um, there's Technic. Yeah, Lego Technic. Um, some smaller sets, I believe. And that's an Iron Man set. So I've not gone through it properly. Um, various books and stuff. They need to sort it out. That's half the problem with Lego, sorting it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, paid up on this. I think I paid uh, I paid 25 quid for it. So I thought, I'll get a tenner for the box. Um, there's also this annual here. I don't think there's any money in these, really. It's the minifigure year-by-year -year visual guide history. Uh, and the minifigures are missing, unless they're in here. Uh, it's not in the best of conditions. Uh, it's actually quite interesting to go through. Yeah, so that was thrown in as well. So I'll probably go back to the car boot, put a quid on it or something. <laughs> yeah, so 25 quid. Um, but there's a couple of bits I noticed in there, which I need just to finish some sets, which I've got lying around. Uh, so now I can sell them. So this is, the, yeah. If you buy Lego from the car boot, like a set, you're guaranteed not to be all there. But if you buy shit like that, you can fill out the sets with it. Put that down. Yes, so that was that. So hopefully Six will take it all. Uh, the Wii games, we'll see whether they take them or not. Um, there's a really nice PS2 game I want in CX at the moment. It's in my local. Um... But I'm going to say, chances are it's either really badly damaged or missing the manual, or it's a foreign version, which seems to be the most common version to find, uh, the English version. So the price they've got it for is a good price, but say, if it's the foreign version, probably not worth it. But we'll see. We'll see in a couple of, in a minute or so, if I bought it or not. Uh, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. How's it going everyone? So yes, as always, 
I've took all that stuff to CX. A um, couple of things to mention. So I've got 104 pounds. Uh, 100 pounds and 40 pence for all that stuff. Uh, as you probably saw. Um, they didn't take the guitar. It's a sad time. Uh, I guess they've stopped taking guitars. They said they had no room to store that stuff anymore. Um, I could have tried a different CX, but I didn't bother. Uh, being a rock band wand, I might try and put it on the internet. Someone may want it. Uh, and South Park Season 3, they didn't give me my money for that one. So they took it and didn't give me my money for it. Then Bastards. Uh, I think it was like £1.40 or something. Something like that. And if you may notice in the video, I didn't put individual pictures of all them South Park box sets because I, one, I couldn't be bothered to edit it because I'm lazy, and two, the price has changed, so I didn't really want to give um, a false price. So, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, all that stuff cost me 30 quid, and I turned it into 100 pounds and 40 pence. And what did I get? What did I get? Well, I didn't even leave the counter before I'd spent it. Uh, I think I'd, I'm not sure if I mentioned I was going to get a PS2 game with it. Uh, they didn't have it didn't have a manual, so I was just like, no, not going to get that. Uh, but they had this, and um, it's a hundred. It was a hundred and five pounds, so it cost me four pounds and four pounds sixty p on top of my voucher. Uh, but for the condition, I'd say it's about the going price, and obviously paying voucher it's pretty good anyway enough waffle it is this beast fire emblem path of radiance now i've seen this a few times in cx um and it's, it's i've seen it with no manual i've seen it with a photocopied cover i've seen it with a non-green triangle which reminds me i need to pull that the inlay is falling out on it <laughs> um i've seen it with like a purple triangle or something so tricky one to find in good condition but the contents um, now the manual is there let's move that there it is oh there's some shine on that there's some shine in my face some very bad lighting in here but today I don't know what's going on maybe I'm sweating a bit it's shining you see that shine kicking off there uh, but yeah so disc disc scratch free so yeah, very happy with that. £105, so a lot of money. Um, seems to keep got on going up this one. I think a couple of years ago it was about 70 80 So uh, game stuff, uh, GameCube stuff, it's going to be one of those which I think is going to keep climbing. But yeah, it's not, it's not a particularly rare game, just everyone wants it. Uh, so yeah, so there we go. Um, a short and sweet one. I say that I've been waffling on for four minutes <laughs> about nothing. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be number eight, I think. Or is this number eight? I don't know. Ah.